Welcome to Tech Guy channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to protect device against malicious code using Windows security on Windows 10. The app and browser control page is the place to configure app protection and online security settings that can help you protect your computer against sites, apps, and files that may contain malicious code. The default settings are the recommended configuration you should be using, but you can always change them if you have a specific reason. The app and browser control can be accessed by going to Start menu, then by opening Windows Security. App and Browser Control is the fourth section in Windows Security. Inside the App and Browser Control contains three settings which is Reputation-based Protection, Isolated Browsing and Exploit Protection. Reputation-based protection settings protect your device from malicious or potentially unwanted apps, files, and websites. To protect the device using Reputation-based Protection, follow these steps. Under the Reputation-based Protection section, Turn on or off the protection options according to your preferences. Check apps and files, offers protection against unrecognized apps and files from the internet. Smart screen for Microsoft Edge, protects device from malicious downloads and websites. Potentially unwanted app blocking, blocks low reputation apps that can be responsible for unexpected behaviors. Smart screen for Microsoft Store apps, checks web content that Microsoft Store apps use. Let's say I will turn off smart screen for Microsoft Edge, the yellow warning symbol will show. If I will go back to app and browser control window, it show the same. Moving back again to main security window, it shows the same, and one more thing it shows now a turn on button. This means we are not in the default settings, or one or more of its feature is turned off. Once you turn on this button, it will set back to default settings. Note, you can turn on or off in main security window or inside the app and browser control setting and it will give you the same results. Quick note, Windows 10 includes the optimal settings for this feature, but you can always enable or disable the features depending on your preferences. Once you complete the steps, Microsoft Defender Antivirus will protect your device from unwanted apps, files, and websites depending on your settings. Isolation Browsing is a feature available on Windows 10 Pro, Education, and Enterprise, which has been designed to isolate Microsoft Edge at the hardware level to protect the device and data from malware and zero-day attacks. To protect the device and data using isolated browsing, follow these steps. On the app and browser control, under the isolated browsing, click the change application guard settings option. Note, this option is only available if the feature is already installed on Windows 10. Turn on the feature that you want to enable during an application guard session, including Save data Copy and paste Print files Camera and microphone Advanced graphics Note, changing any settings in the app and browser control option required to restart the PC before the settings take effect. Let's say I will allow access to my camera and microphone in application guard for Microsoft Edge, notice that the system issue message saying this change requires to restart your device. Under the isolated browsing, there is one more option which is the uninstall Microsoft Defender application guard option to disable this feature. If you're using a supported version of Windows 10, you'll only be able to access the settings if the Microsoft Defender Application Guard component is enabled through the Turn Windows Features On or Off experience. Once you complete the steps, you can start a new security browsing session opening the Chromium version of Microsoft Edge, click the main menu, the three-dotted button, and select the new Application Guard window option. Exploit protection is an advanced feature that can help mitigate malware and vulnerabilities without having to wait for a malware or system update. Windows 10 includes the most optimal settings for exploit protection, and you shouldn't be making any changes to these settings unless you know what you're doing. To customize the exploit protection settings, follow these steps. In the app and browser control, click the exploit protection settings option. 
Go to Program Settings and choose the app you want to apply mitigations to. If the app you want to configure is already listed, click it and then click Edit. After selecting the app, you'll see a list of all the mitigations that can be applied. Choosing Audit will apply the mitigation in Audit mode only. You are notified if you need to restart the process or app, or if you need to restart Windows. If you're done, click Apply button to apply the settings. Repeat the process for all the apps and mitigations you want to configure. If the app is not listed, at the top of the list click Add Program to customize and then choose how you want to add the app. Use Add by Program name to have the mitigation applied to any running process with that name. You must specify a file with an extension. You can enter a full path to limit the mitigation to only the app with that name in that location. Use Choose Exact File Path to use a standard Windows Explorer file picker window to find and select the file you want. Under the System Settings section, find the mitigation you want to configure and select one of the following. Apps that aren't configured individually in the Program Settings section will use the settings configured here. These are the options under System Settings. Control Flow Guard ensures control flow integrity for indirect calls. Data execution prevention, prevents code from being run from data-only memory pages. Force randomization for images, force relocation of images not compiled with dynamic base. Randomize memory allocations, randomize locations for virtual memory allocations. High entropy ASLR, increase variability when using randomize memory allocations. Validate exception chains, ensures the integrity on an exception chain during dispatch. Validate heap integrity, terminates a process when heap corruption is detected. And you can switch to either. On by default, the mitigation is enabled for apps that don't have this mitigation set in the app specific program settings section. Off by default, the mitigation is disabled for apps that don't have this mitigation set in the app specific program settings section. Use default, the mitigation is either enabled or disabled, depending on the default configuration that is set up by Windows 10 installation, the default value, on or off, is always specified next to the use default label for each mitigation. Repeat the process for all the system level mitigations you want to configure. Note, this changes requires to restart the device. If you add an app to the program settings section and configure individual mitigation settings there, they will be honored above the configuration for the same mitigations specified in the system settings section. Once you complete the steps, exploit protection will run on the device according to your settings. This covers protecting device against malicious code using Windows security on Windows 10. If you have a question to ask, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.